everybody and welcome to Music with Meg's Violin School. This is lesson number 10 and today we're practicing string crossing. Everybody follow me, it's music with Meg. So in order to play more and more advanced pieces, we need to work on our string crossing. Some violin music needs you to cross between strings really, really quickly, so it's important that you learn how to do it. Once you can cross strings quickly, you can play music like this. So, this technique comes back to bowing. And hopefully by now you've been working on your nice straight bow stroke. So this is another one where it's helpful to be in front of a mirror so you can watch what you're doing. Now, as we've learnt before, when we're bowing, we want to keep our elbow lifted like this. You're looking for a nice right angle here. If your elbow is not lifted like this, you're not going to be able to cross the string quickly enough for this bow stroke. So, lift your elbow up like this. And as we've learnt before, as we're crossing strings, our elbow is lifting and lowering. So in one bow, let's just start on the G string and play all four strings and watch your elbow lifting and lowering, like this. Let's do that in four separate bow strokes. So hopefully you can feel that your elbow is lowering and lifting as you're crossing strings. So this first exercise is going to help us do that. We're just going to play open strings. Let's start on G. We're going to play four Gs. starting on D. And the same on A. Great, that's our first string crossing bowing exercise, number one. Now I think we're ready to get a little bit more advanced. So this is where we're going to use the slurred bowing that we learned a couple of weeks ago. So we'll start on G and we're going to play nice and evenly. G, D, D, G. Good, and again. Now we're going to take that double speed. So it's going to sound like this. Can you try? And onto the D string. Now we're going to slur four notes into one bow and we're going to cross strings four times, like this. And back. So hopefully 
hopefully you can see that your bow is moving a little bit like a wave going backwards and forwards. This is all coming from your elbow and your wrist. So let's practice that one. It's a bit tricky, so don't worry if you don't get it at first. Here we go. G. And back. And again. And now onto the D string. And now back down the other way, so we're going to go from the higher string to the lower string and back, like this. E. And on the A string. And on the D string. Now we're going to start on the G string and we're going to practice changing bows to each string one at a time. It's going to sound like this. G, D, G, then up to A, down to G, and E, and G, and again. should feel that your elbow is doing quite a lot of work. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. So there are a few little bowing exercises to get you started with working on your string crossings. Once you've got the hang of it with open strings, you can add fingers in. For example, and again. And back down. slurred bows and string crossings, it's a real test of your control of your bow. Once you've got the hang of it, you'll soon be moving really quickly across those strings. This week, practice those string crossing exercises that we've learned today. Remember, you can practice separate bows and slurred bows you can practice on open strings at first, and once you start getting the hang of it, you can add fingers in as well. If you're getting really good, then practice some of the pieces that we've learned so far, and see if your string crossings are getting any better. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you'll know when my video comes next week. But for now, have a lovely week, and I will see you next time. Bye! Before you go, please consider making a contribution to Music With Meg. You can join me on Patreon or via PayPal. Thank you so much everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!